To fully utilize the features of the TT Esports Black FP gaming mouse, you'll need to download some software. Simply head on over to the TT Esports website and head to the product page. Once you get to the product page, simply scroll to the bottom where you will find the download section. Now, the two bits of software that you'll need are the command center software and the security center software. Simply download and follow the on-screen instructions to install. Once you've finished installing the software, simply restart your PC. Once your PC has restarted, simply select the command center icon located on your system tray and select the black FP gaming mouse. You may change the language as desired. Now after that's done, you need to register your fingerprint. Select the fingerprint tab and then for first time registration, you must enter your Windows password. Select the finger that you would like to register the black FP to and lift up and down against the fingerprint sensor until successful completion. If the fingerprint is unsuccessful, please reattempt. On successfully registering a fingerprint, a notification will pop up. Select OK and exit to complete registration. After you exit the command center software, select the security center. As you enter the software, you'll be asked to touch to sign in. Simply use the registered fingerprint that you registered with previously to log in. Once you've logged into the security center, you'll notice the My Launch tab. That registers all your websites. The My Vault tab records the account details of these websites and the My Settings remembers your passwords. You'll have an option to modify the password settings under a PIN, Windows Password or Fingerprint option and you can add and delete accordingly. The My Setting features allow you to sign into websites, automatically remember all your website passwords, start your launch site and install a Chrome extension if you are using Chrome. Users will also be able to delete the user settings if they desire. Now that you've registered your fingerprint, you can now register your accounts onto the Security Center software. Access a website such as Facebook with your login details and hit Login. Once you log in, a pop-up screen will indicate if you would like to remember the password. Select Yes. The next time that you log in to Facebook, our drop-down menu will ask you to touch to sign in. Simply use your registered fingerprint to log in with the black FP and that's it. If you access the security center software again and log in, you'll note that the details have now been entered automatically. The My Launch site indicates Facebook and the My Vault enters your account, username and password where you can save and delete. It's important to note that if you change your password on Facebook, you will also have to update your details on the software. Users with Windows 10 and multiple accounts can log in with different registered fingerprints using the security software. The security center software of the Black FP also has a file and folder encryption function. All you need to do is right click on the file or folder and select security center encrypt files. It will ask you to touch to sign in to confirm encryption and it will automatically encrypt the file. A padlock icon on the file or folder will indicate successful encryption. To access the file, double click, select your fingerprint to log in, and that's it. To re-encrypt your file, simply redo the following process as mentioned before. Please note that files that are encrypted within a folder can be edited without having to re-encrypt the file. Files that are outside of the folder encryption will have to be re-encrypted again. As a security backup measure, if you're unable to log in with your fingerprint sensor, a message will pop up asking you to enter your Windows password to log in. The Security Center software comes with additional security features. One is a PIN option, the other is a Windows password Q&A option, and the third, as you know, is the fingerprint reader. Selecting the PIN option will ask you to enter a four-digit PIN. Simply enter your desired four-digit PIN and reconfirm the PIN number to complete registration. To select the Windows password function, simply select the Windows password and hit Next, and select a secret question and enter your desired answer to complete registration.